Well, hey guys. Well, Emperor's Gashi back here. Sorry for being a little bit late. I was, well, let's be honest here. I was sleeping. I was really tired this morning for some reason or another. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. And that brings us to the present. I'm baffled. Did the whole hour since the beginning of Nakabachi's presentation really happen? I check online for any news. The net is buzzing about the mysterious machine that crashed into Radio Kaikon. All of the major stations in Tokyo, even Toe TV, or maybe it's Tio TV, whichever it is, are running special bulletins about it. Fortunately, it doesn't look like anyone was hurt, but Chuodori, Chuodori is still closed off. Akihabara station is jammed with reporters and curious onlookers. Nobody has mentioned anything about the disappearance of thousands of people from Akiba streets, nor about Makise Christina's, yeah, sorry, Christina's murder. It's all a mystery. A mystery. I see! So that's it! From the sofa, I spring to my feet, a wide grin on my face. Daru and Mayuri turn to stare, turn and stare. This is all an elaborate cover-up by the organization. Their influence has corrupted local law enforcement, which means our entire government may already be under their control. My God! But they underestimated me, for I am not so easily played. One day I will expose their deeds and put an end to their reign. Having come to the satisfactory conclusion, I take a celebratory bottle of Dr. P, my favorite soda from the fridge. The la the, the, the lab, the lab has no air conditioning. Ice-cold drinks are essential. Ah, elixir intellectualis. A drink fit for a genius. Of course, who doesn't like Dr. Pepper? I pity the man who knows not the greatness of this beverage. <laughs> Step through the curtain dividing its center, and you'll enter the heart of the future gadget laboratory, the development room. Just as the name implies, this is the room where we develop future gadgets. Needless to say, it's, it is strictly off-limits to outsiders. Yes, I know the setup is cheap. I would much rather have an airlock than a curtain. But our research budget is already scraping the bottom of the barrel. Besides, it's important. What's important isn't money, it's ambition. I poke Daru and bid him follow me into the development room. All of the windows here are weather striped with packing tape, so it's dim. And hot, almost like a sauna. I've been wanting to buy an air conditioner for the lab, but there's no money for that. We're currently accepting donations. Upon entering the development room, I pick up the lab coat that's lazily draped on the chair and put it on. I always wear a lab coat in the development room, for practical reasons, as well as symbolic ones. Daru, however, refuses to wear his. Putting it on and taking it off, is apparently too much trouble for him. He can't be bothered to do anything that doesn't interest him. It's men like him who give our generation a bad name. His lab coat, purchased from our, from my own pocket money, I might add, just sits on the shelf. It's never been worn and probably never will be. Daru, is the plan progressing smoothly? Eh? Daru gives me a blank look. I sigh and turn. Uh, wait. Oh, turn his. Yeah, okay. Turn his attention to the la to the table in the middle of the room. Sitting majestically on the table is a commercial-grade microwave oven. It's significantly larger than 
newer home models. The plan? As in, THE plan, obviously? I'm talking about perfecting gadget number 8. Ah, that's it. I thought I was going to say something We've known each other for what? Three years now? We went to high school together, and now we're going to the same university. We share inseparable bond, an inseparable bond, like prison cellmates. He's been a lab member for two months. Though. Details. The point is, we've known each other a long time. I expect you to keep up with me here. Awkward silence. Man, I wanted to do... All I wanted to do was have one of those cool cryptic conversations where we talk about plans and preparations and other important sounding stuff. But no! One. One. But no one knows what it means except me. Shut down again. So... Are we any closer to figuring out what's wrong with gadget number 8? Yeah, mother. So far, the future gadget laboratory has completed a total of 8 inventions. As I explained to Alpaca Man, the lab's primary goal is to develop weapons for the war against the Dark Domain, Dominion, led by the organization that rules the world from the shadows. At present, we haven't completed any inventions, of that sort. On the contrary, we haven't even figured out what we should make. But along the way, we have managed to create some ingenious, futurist gadgets as a byproduct of our research. It is a fundamental truth of science that great inventions are often created by accident. In other words, serendipity. Allow me to introduce our glorious future gadgets. Gadget number one, the bit particle gun. Gadget number two, the bamboo helicam. Gadget number three, could this be Aura Aura? Gadget number four, mode snake. Gadget number five, once again I've made a worthless object by Goemon. Gadget number six, the... <laughs> Silum Saber. Gadget number seven, Ghost in the Ball. They call all, they can all be seen on the website Daru made. So feast your eyes upon the product of a mad scientist genius. Anyway, our current problem is future gadget number eight, the phone wave name subject to change. Phone wave. Phone Wave is a pretty weak name, so I've added name subject to change to the end until we come up with something better. For the record, it was Mayuri's idea, not mine. When a future gadget is completed, the three of us discuss what we name it. I prefer names based on mythology, or names with hidden meanings that need extra explanation to understand. That's just overcomplicating things. Daru thinks my naming style is too ridiculous. He just doesn't have a passion for words like I do. Mayuri can't be bothered to remember difficult names. She says they don't fit in her head. And so, our opinions on gadget names are always split. But I digress. The phone wave name subject to change is, in short, a remote-controlled microwave. You put food into the microwave before you leave, then, on your way back, call the attached cell phone to start the heating process. Voila! Hot food ready for your arrival. Huh, sounds like a time machine. So it's basically a piece of junk, or a time machine. A few days ago, however, we discovered that the phone wave, named subject to change, has a second unintended capability. Our brave, or possibly just ditzy, Mayuri had made it her daily routine to heat some frozen fried chicken by remote control. Long story short, she was defrosting her beloved juicy chicken number one. As usual, 
when the unexpected happened, the chicken came out more frozen than when she put it in. The microwave refroze the chicken. Since then, Daru and I have be uh, been searching for the cause. Mayushi ga yatta jokyo o saigen shite nando mo jikken shita kedo, reito dekita li dekina katta li da shi, banana o reito shite miyo to shita ra, sara ni hente kona koto nna atta shi. Was it the gel banana? Hapari wakan de. Gel banana. Daru. Now, looking completely fed up with the heat, starts fanning himself with his shirt. I know what he means by really weird. Let's see if we can't make it happen again. Mayuri! Mayuri! Bring forth the bananas! I need to stop great cooking! Of course! Gel, 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 gel. I take the bananas from Mayuri and stick the whole bunch into the phone wave. Name such a change. Hey, why don't you just stick one in? Aren't you kind of wasting the bananas to stick them all in? Wait, that's why I just said, wow. She actually said something intelligent. What is this? Mayuri, Mayuri saying something makes sense. Stop, Mayuri! Stop it! You're gonna hurt yourself! Your stinginess... <laughs> your... <laughs> could cost us the battle with the organization. Oh, so she said something that makes sense because she bought them. I see. Never mind then, she's just being greedy. No, I'm just kidding. Who wouldn't want their bananas wasted? I don't want my bananas wasted, I like my bananas. Next time, we'll only do one banana. But I already put in the whole bunch in, so I ignore her hungry complaint. The phone wave name subject to change is simply to use. Simple to use. It's a microwave with a phone taped on. The number is already in my address books. I just need to call the phone wave. Now, where did I put the f my phone? Now, where did I put my phone? I check my pants and my coat pockets. Now, where did I put my phone? I check my pants and coat pockets. Now, where did I put my phone? Wait, oh, why does it keep repeating the same thing? Move your cursor to the right or press P. Bring up the cell phone and call the phone wave subject to change. Okay. I was wondering what was going on there. I was like, why do I have to keep repeating it? Move your cursor right or press P. Well, it says you can press P and I'm pressing P right now. There we go. Okay, so let's, uh, we need a call though, right? Well, I guess I can check my mailbox too. Receive messages. What's this? Achieved. Uh, un achievement unlocked memories of another. Whoa, -ho! hey, bro, that's, uh, oh, this is code. Okay, so. Hello, my companion from the past. I have sent this message to you, and I'm making all this up, so don't worry about it. All right, sent mailbox. Achievement unlocked. Memories of the self. Uh, connect to network. Open address book. Phone wave. Transmit call. I'm connected. R E N G. Kochira wa denwa renji. Kakko kari des. Oh well. This is the voice of. My Yushi, now you're calling her that too? You're calling her by her own nickname. Guidance, the system Daru program to operate the phone wave. Be quiet, I'm trying to listen. Poor Mayuri, he's bullying her. Uh, 
2分なら Entering the command properly will cause the phone wave name subject to change to function like a normal microwave. Instead, we're going to deliberately mess up and order、uh, mess up and enter 120 hashtag. Alright, 120 hashtag. That should do it. This method was originally a simple mistake by Mayuri's part. But it somehow starts the freezing process. The phone wave, name subject to change, comes to life. The turnable,、uh, the, turn, the turntable begins to rotate. Kire na turntable da ro. Fudan to chiga te gyak kai ten shite runda ze sore. Backwards? I never noticed that. That might have serious implications. If we look at quantum critical behavior driven by. Hun's rule. Hun's rule. Me. Not Hun's rule. Okay. The three of us wait and stare at the spinning bananas. After 120 seconds pass, the microwave chimes. Mayuri takes the banana out. Yum. Tasty.、Uh, yeah, I. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat that. I think you would get food poisoning. Look at it. Look at it. I mean, if it was actually like gel, like, like you know, like gel as in like jello, that might be fine. But this, this just looks like. Just, I, just no. The bananas have become not bananas. Gelatinous blobs coated with a thin membrane. After Mayuri discovered that the phone wave. Names of the change had a freezing function. We attempted to freeze a bunch of bananas. This is what happened. It's ju it just gets more confusing each time. Daru, you wouldn't mind eating one of these, would you? Of course, you wouldn't. It's for science! Your sacrifice will forever be remembered. <laughs> The taste doesn't matter. What matters is that you eat it! So come on, Daru. No need to be shy. Break a leg or a stomach and go for it. Sometimes he just doesn't say it. Well, I did. I don't want to open my cell phone. Okay, fine, we'll open the cell phone. Let's connect to the network. Whoa! Whoa, okay. You guys, you guys can't see it, but apparently that takes you to like a website. A website.、Um, not related to. Not, not. It's like on the, on the actual like internet. So. Yeah. Alright then. No way. Fine. Mayuri, the honor shall be yours. Oh no, not the boonya boonya. Not anything but the boonya boonya. Wait, she already tried one. Gloopy, gloop, gloopy, droopy, and soft and squishy. Daru, what do you think? Boonya boonya banana ka. Boonya boonya no banana. Boonya boonya? Ew. Mayushi, anata no banana. Boonya boonya da net. Oh my gosh, this guy, this guy, need, this guy needs to get arrested. Darukun, Darukun, Hanaji de Teru. He could eat the meat, could I? Oh my gosh, she's so creepy. Hanata no banana. Don't make her say that, you perv. Daru retreats after I hit him with a tissue box. The ultimate defensive tool. Mayuri looks at us with an innocent smile. She doesn't get it, obviously. Anyway, they are gelatinous, a semi solid state of matter. Gelatinous, rather, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. In other words, there is a possibility that the intermolecular bonds were weakened. What could have part. part, part Partially liquefied the bananas. I've got it! 
I turn to the white board and write freezing in the middle. Then I cross it out and slap the board with my hand. What we thought was a freezing function is actually something else. A bold statement if I do say so myself. So, why isn't anyone surprised? Now's the time to shout. What you say? Come on, don't be shy. Their reactions are pathetically weak. Mayuri probably didn't even understand half of what I said. Oh. Probably time traveling? Hmm? Uh, that, no, that, 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 that's, that's not how that works. It was obviously freezing the chicken, why would it be thawing it? <laughs> what a silly question, Mayuri. What you're describing is just a normal microwave. He's right. To be honest, I haven't a clue. But I do. It's time traveling. In any case, there's nothing we can do about it right now. It's time for Daru and I to head to Daibiri. Daibiri? Daibiri. There's going to be a seminar at ATF, and we have to be there. It's part of our studies at Tokyo Denki University. Summer credits, basically. We have to attend the seminar and write a report. Come to think of it. Oh, we got, we got a new mail. Okay, is it gonna let me open it? There we go. Oh, it's from Mayuri. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm really sad about dropping my Upa. It's worse than last year when I missed buying Fatty G Gero, Gero Froggy. What's a Gero Froggy? Wait. Okay, let's go with the Upa one first. Okay, uh, res resonant reaction. I feel your pain. That thing was worth a fortune. Our precious research fund. Horse. <laughs> Wait, can we still respond to the other one too? No, okay. So you can only respond to one. Can we respond to this thing then? Was there anything on here that we could respond to? No. Alright. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Okay. Wait, do we have Christina on here yet? No. I looked it up before the summer holiday began. I should have written it down. Did it now. Did it? Did you ever think that maybe it was the building that crashed into the satellite? Hmm? As we cross the overpass that connects UPX and Daibiri. Dai it's like beer. Beer in Japanese is like, I think, beer. So it's like, I just think of it as big beer. Yeah, oh, man. I look down to see a huge crowd of people moving through the plaza. There are even some garishly, garishly, gar, gar, garish, garish, garishly. However, that whatever that is, garishly. I don't know, but that's not. It's not. That's not part of where I'm from. That's not a regional word. I don't know. <laughs> Dressed young men and women, the sort you don't usually see around Akiba. Everyone is walking towards the main street, which is still con uh, cordoned off. Uh, cornered off, I would think. Whatever. And Aru, aren't you going to check out Rido, uh, Radio Kaikon? どうせ行っても見られないっしょ。もちろんネットに上がってくる情報にはほぼ目を通してるのだぜ。あっとちゃんのスレス100超えたし、勢いすげえ。no, so you, you look at you, you're taking most of my screen. Oh, so that's why he was just staring at his phone over there. 
We enter Dai Beauty and take the elevator to the fifth floor. ATF Assembly Hall. Oh, Unlike the lab, Daibiru has air conditioning. Yet another reason for our diligent participation in the seminar. About the forward wave name subject to change, I might have found our answer. I won't give in that easily. Even if no other lab members use name subject to change, I will carry on until the day we decide its true name. Now's not the time. What do you mean, ridiculous? My genius brain considers every possibility, even those a lesser mind would, say, break the laws of nature. Don't you dare call that ridiculous. Doru! I have a hunch that the phone wave names of change may be the key to opening Stein's gate. How's that? Well then, you just can't comprehend my genius. A chime signals our arrival on the fifth floor. The elevator doors open slowly. As we step out of the elevator... <laughs> Kya? I bump into someone. Is it Christine? I quickly grab the person's shoulder to keep them from falling, but I, it's not. It's not Christina. Okay, uh, see, Christina wouldn't apologize like that. Would she? What? It was Christina? What? Whoa! 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 But she's a member of the organization. Why would she apologize to me? Why? It's a girl. And I recognize her. You. You. Impossible. Chills run down my spine. I stare at her face in disbelief. Yes, you would, wouldn't you? I saw this girl just three hours ago. That was before time changed, though, my friend. Christine! Christina frowns and tries to back away. I don't let go of her shoulder. My grip tightens. You should be dead. Why are you here? And you're even... There isn't a single bloodstain on her clothes. And the same one she was wearing when I found her. Only a serious wound could have produced that much blood. Yet, as far as I can tell, she's completely uninjured. Not a scratch. <laughs> Christina pushes me away. Then she shoots me a wary glare. I realize that I'm gaping in disbelief. <laughs> You're okay, but that's impossible. Someone stabbed you. I saw you lying in a pool of blood. <laughs> Daru interrupts. Wait, there's something strange about what he just said. What do you mean, again? I sent you an email? Don't be ridiculous! I saw the, her body just three hours ago. That sounds like something you'd read on the internet. Daru, it's rare for you to talk about ridiculous theories. Daru pulls out his phone and shows it to me. He's right, the email was sent from my phone. He received it on July 21st at 12.56. But it was sent on July 28th at 12.54. It was split into three emails. Someone stabbed. Bad. Christine. Risu. 
don't. Why did I send such a short message in three parts? And it looks like the third email got cut off. I do recognize the content though. Wait, can I remove this thing out of the screen? I, I don't like it being there. This is the email I sent you three day three hours ago. Okay, so now I can't do it by right clicking. But I sent one mail, not three, and there should be more text. Did Daru really get this a week ago? Suddenly, Christina is standing next to me, peering intently at the screen of Daru's phone. Oh right, the email's not important. Well, maybe it is, but not right now. The real question is, why is she still alive? If she is an illusion, no, an evil spirit, am I haunted? I don't believe in such unscientific drivel. I am a mad scientist! Whoa, that's like getting really close to her face. I timidly reach out to Christina's face. My fingertips stroke her hair. Feels silky, quite the uh, cuticles. Substance. She has substance, of course. She's not a ghost. How silly of me. Oh, oh, Karin. Mazukune. <laughs> Why well, poke Christina's cheeks with my fingers? Jesus Christ, you're asking for a lawsuit. Such softness, dead bodies don't feel like this. Not that I've ever touched one. Oi. Wait a minute. We already touched when I bumped into her. Coming out of the elevator, I even grabbed her shoulders before push being pushed away. And I still doubted that she had substance? That's just proof of how confused I am. If she's alive, then what did I see back at Radio KaiCon? What was the scream I heard? Were they hallucinations? Just like that mass disappearance? That's right, she was stabbed. Maybe she's just hiding her wounds. This requires further investigation. I grab the hem of her blouse and slowly lift it. I think he is. I just wanted to know the truth. I stare straight back at Christina as she trembles with anger. Oh my gosh, and I lift her blouse a little higher. Oh my gosh. She pushes my hand around. Daru shouts something silly, but I ignore him and press Christina. I know what I saw. Christina's face turns bright red. She firmly pulls her blouse down. No, you fool! Not that! Earlier this afternoon, after... Dr. Nakabachi's presentation, someone killed Christina and left her in a pool of blood. I carefully explained everything that I saw. Cancelled? Something's wrong. Our stories aren't matching. It's the same thing that happened right after I saw the mass disappearance. Mayuri's story didn't match mine. I need to know. Am I caught in some sinister plot? Is this another organization conspiracy? Yeah. Find yeah. out next time on Stein's Gate. Because we're ending the episode here for now. Alright guys. Well, wasn't that fantastic. I'm sorry for being a little drowsy there and mispronouncing words. But... I think we shall find out what is going on. Is it Stein's Git? Is it time travel? Is it just him going psycho bonkers crazy? We'll find out next time. Alright. I will catch you all next time. Laters.